Well, I, no, yeah, obviously. Um, we know that um, we were right in that game, tie game, and just uh, had a couple possessions down the stretch that, that hurt us. I think that one uh, rebound went over our head. We had a really good defensive stop and couldn't get the ball, and they kicked it out for a three. Got us in the hole. So, and, and I told them, you know, we, we're going to be a team. There's no margin for error. We're going to be in a lot of close games. We got to be able to come up with those plays at the end of the game. We just didn't didn't come up with them uh, tonight. But uh, we're going to keep we'll back, keep working on stuff. We'll look at the film and uh, we'll get better. Is it still too early to tell? Uh, just you know exactly what it's going to take to fix it, or were you looking at yeah. it tonight and going, "Hey, I think I got." Yeah, 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 idea. yeah. But we'll, you know, we got a lot of different things we can uh, do defense. We I thought we got her on the mid screen rule. There's just things we can work on and get better. So you know, we have a young team. Uh, and, and it's going to be a work in progress. But uh, the thing I thought, our kids played extremely hard, got, gave themselves a chance to win, uh, and we just couldn't execute it at, at both ends uh, in the last two minutes. What do you think of uh, Laquan and Glory in their first WNBA game? I mean, I thought they did a good job. They, you know, it's it's going to be a real learning curve for the rookies. I mean, they're, uh, they played very hard. I think the corner shot the ball pretty well and made, you know, made some shots. So they're both good. You know, it's, it's a learning process for rookies. But, I mean, they're going to get a great chance this year to play. We're going to go with them and, and play them. And they'll get better as we go along. Just, uh, you know, your, your first game as a head coach, too. You know, was it different over there? You yeah, it's different. You know, and you, you slide over there about uh, six inches, and it's a lot different. You know, everything's on you. So, uh, but, um, you know, I, I'm up to the task. I, I got a good coaching staff, and, and we'll get better, too. You know, it's going to be – it's a learning curve for all of us. But uh, believe me, we got a hard-working team, hard-working staff. We're going to we're, we're get better. Coach, your dad was courtside today. Um, can you just talk about what that was like for you? And I've taken a lot from him, among others. But, uh, yeah, he'll, have, he'll probably have a few words of, you know, of uh, – Choice that after this one too. So I, I know he'll, he's my unpaid consultant. So. <laughs> if I was to make a case that you guys you could be better this year, it would be that you got you got pretty good quarterback play tonight. Yeah, quarterback. Yeah, for sure. I thought Tamika and, and Ivory did a good job. We played them together quite a bit, too. So but they got down the lane and made some good plays. We just we went, went through a couple periods where we struggled offensively and um, didn't get the ball moving. I think that's what we got to we got to keep working on getting the ball, move an extra pass, keep the floor spread, and, and we and we will. You know, like I said, it's a young team. We've been really together three weeks, so through camp. So you know, there's some positives we're going to take out of this, and uh, we're going to get them ready for uh, Tuesday night against Phoenix. Your first move was, was to, to get a quarterback. Everybody mm -hmm. waited last year. You just think, hey, that's. That's absolutely, definitely. absolutely, and she's going to help us win some games this year. Uh, Tamika will. She's a, she's like a coach out on the floor, um, you know. And Ivory is a backup, and even at the two, we put her at the two. So, no, I, and I think it's you know it's a gelling process when you have a young team, especially with our team so young. You know, with the three rookies, really a few that sat out last year or didn't get still young players. So it's going to be, you know, a learning process. Uh, this is a very good team we played. I mean, they've had some world-class. Vicki Hammond is a world-class guard. Danielle Adam, she, or Robinson is one of the uh, fastest players in our league. Of course, Sophia is, you know, is uh, an all-star. So um, we did some good things. We'll, we'll, we'll regroup and come back. I don't know that you got to, to make it for you think she scored 21 yeah. for you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, that was kind of his bonus, I guess. She did. She can make shots. You know, she can make shots. She can. Anybody's game with two and a half minutes left? It was about two. I thought, looking at it, there was one possession. I remember we played really good D, and they got the ball back right. and kicked it out and got an open three. And yeah. I think what we went down, we were up one, went down two there, and I don't think we ever got the lead back. And that was. They, they, didn't lead, they didn't lead at all yeah. in the second and third quarter. Yeah. yeah, we really, you know, we felt good about it. And that's why I kept telling them in the huddle, you know, it's going to be a close game. Guys going to come down and executing at both ends. Unfortunately, you know, they, we had a couple of mistakes down the stretch. I heard that. With anybody's game, did they win because they had Mickey Hammond? I mean, you know, when you, when you get in that situation, if you got somebody like that who's already been through, it, you know, all 13, you know, a high-level player, 13, it's, it's definitely experience. Yeah. Yeah, for sure that they can make those plays. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you.